Good morning, Don Santorella. How are you today? Good, how are you? How did I pronounce that name? Uh, very good. Thank very you, well. thank you, dear. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful neighborhood of Swiss Elm Park. Thank you for coming. It's beautiful here. Tell me what's your favorite thing about your neighborhood. Uh, I like the suburban feel. Uh, like we're within city limits and, and I work for the city, so I have to live within city limits. And this is as close to being out of the city as you can be without actually being outside the city. This is like a little secret here. Oh, uh, best kept secret in, in, in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love all the green spaces. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, what's What are some of the other things you like about your neighborhood? Uh I like that it's very uh, it's very safe. We, we don't have uh, hardly any crime here yearly. Um, it's a great neighborhood for walking. I, I have a two year old and we we go on walk. We don't have a lot of traffic. We don't have a lot of, of vehicles running through. So you can ride your bike. You can walk your dog. So you just go for a walk are, and sorry, you're not you're not not in any fear of uh, uh, you know. What I mean, it's mm -hmm. very safe to to walk. So you know your neighbors because you're walking, you're seeing some of the same people. Yeah, you see the same Speak. people all the time. Um, all the dog owners know one another. They know the dogs' names. And oh, the dogs play with each other. Everybody, makes... everybody with children, you know each other because you stop and you talk, and you, your children play. That's beautiful. That's how you know you're in a real community. Yeah. In 25 years, where do you see Swiss Elm Park? Uh, I don't see Swiss Elm Park changing too much in in 25 years. We're kind of restricted by space, and uh, it's it's pretty much it's all residential. There's only I think two non-residential structures in the entire uh, neighborhood. It would be the community center and the firehouse, okay. and then uh, pretty much all the, the the rest of it's completely built up residential. So. Aside from a few small changes, I'd, I'd like to see better access to Frick Park. We border, oh. we border Frick Park uh, pretty much all along the neighborhood, but our access to Frick Park is at the bottom of commercial. Right. So everybody has to go down the hill and look for parking, or it's a pretty long walk down the hill to mm -hmm. get into the park. So I'd like to see uh, better access into Frick Park. How, how do you think that could happen? Is that something that you think the city could be involved in, or is it something that just, just the community could do, or like a collaborative I think it would have to be a collaborative. It would have to be part city, part community, part, um, I know we have like the park service. Uh, they're doing a lot of remodeling, a nine mile run down mm -hmm. in Frick Park, and they're building up the trails. And I think just extending some of the trails, maybe ah. giving us a little more entry points. Um, right now, we're kind of in a transition phase. They're putting a Somerset plan in at the, uh, and they're going to border uh, the, the phase three and phase four, going to border the other side of Swiss Elm Park. So right now that's fenced off because it's being developed, so you can't get in through there. But I think once it's finished, I'd like to see uh, community integration between the two. Maybe uh, uh, okay. Somerset and Swiss Elm Park uh, connected some way. Not not so much a road where traffic can flow through, but trails, trails, and bike trails. Yeah, trails. Like I'd that. like to to kind of be a part of that. Well, if you were to go to another neighborhood in Pittsburgh and you said, wow, I'd like, that inspires me. I'd like to see that in Swiss Elm Park. Or, that's kind of crappy. I don't want that in the air of my neighborhood. What neighborhoods would that be and why? Uh, I, I like um, Regent Square. Regent Square is, uh, they're kind of the same feel as Swiss Elm Park. They're kind of suburban. They're, they border Frick Park. A lot of green space. A lot mm -hmm. of trees. Um, not a lot of traffic, but they do have a small business district. Right. They have coffee shops, they have diners, they have restaurants. Some of my they, favorite restaurants are on that little row. <laughs> and, and fan, fantastic. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's only really one solid block, mm -hmm. but they have places for uh, for everybody. They have there, There's places for kids to go, there's places for adults to go. Definitely the movie theater is one of my favorite places to be. Uh, the, the movie theater is great. Yeah. Well, do you do you think that that would help Swiss Elm Park if they had maybe like a block um, business district, or do you find that um, that would change the the kind of romance here, charm here? I think um, maybe not not so busy of a business district, but I think if you put in um, maybe a deli or coffee shop, coffee shop. You, you might get. Just a, a gathering spot, not ah, so much, not saying. so much people traveling or or coming to, to frequent this, this business, but some place where people in the neighborhood would just gather. It'd be a you'd community go, kind of. Coffee you would get shop. your morning coffee. You would talk right. to your neighbors. Maybe in the evening you'd get a sandwich. People working in the neighborhood can go there. Uh, a lot of landscapers and stuff working in the neighborhood, they can get lunch there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, Don. Businessman, <laughs> <laughs> lieutenant. Um, if somebody were to come to Pittsburgh from out of town, where's the first place you'd bring them? In? 
Where, where, where would you take them here in Swiss, Swiss Elm Park? In Swiss Elm Park? Uh, geez, there's, there's uh, probably the, the, the playground. The playground? Yeah, the playground uh, is kind of the gathering spot for the community. That's okay. where most of the parents, that's where all the kids go. Uh, I mean, all the way up to high school. Really? The, the kids oh, still great. gather there. Um, we get uh, a little group from Kappa. And they'll go there and, and they'll hang out. And they're, they're a little older, but they don't interfere with the, the little kids playing. But they'll play instruments oh, there. Beautiful. And then in the summertime, we have um, like kind of a, a water feature in, in the park. So a lot of kids come for that. Yeah, you have a beautiful neighborhood. I'm so glad you invited us, Dawn. Thank you very much. I must say that um, if I came to visit you, take me to the pond. Just leave me there with a book, with my sunglasses. I'll the, be fine. The, the pond's actually private. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, this gentleman over here actually owns, owns oh. that land. Well, I can just sit across his book. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beautiful. But well, thank yeah. you for having us in, here in Swiss Elm Park. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.